Ectolon's presentation of how to do a demo. I'm John Ellis. Now, as a Team Ectolon player, we want you to clearly understand why Ectolon has the best products on the market. You're at the front line, you're at the clubs, maybe you're a club pro or an assistant to a club pro. You are the player that everyone looks up to for the information on what's going on in the world of racquetball. You're what Ectolon calls an influencer of grassroots racquetball, and that's very important to us when we're deciding who's a part of Team Ectolon. Today, Ectolon is based out of Omaha, Nebraska, and has been the leader in the sport for 40 plus years with patent technologies such as the first aluminum high strength frame, the first hand laid composite racket, the first oversized aluminum racket, and technologies such as triple thread, O3, X03, and the current ESP extreme stringing pattern. Now let's take a look at what it takes to put on an effective Ectolon demo. Getting organized properly before your Ectolon sales demo will help make everything run very smoothly. Here's a couple steps to follow. First, get in contact with the club, especially the racquetball manager, to make sure you get approval for what you want to do that night. Also, secure some needs from the club, such as a long table, to display the Ectolon products that you'll be demoing that night. Some clubs have member appreciation nights. Those are perfect for Ectolon demos. Okay, we're here at InShape Sport March Lane. This is our new InShape facility. We got Vincente Alaniz, who's the GM at the club here. We got this going on tonight, so you know I want to talk with Vincente a little bit about this. So uh, kind of give uh, all Team Ectolon out there an idea of what you're supposed to say and ask of the GM when you're trying to come into their facility and do a demo. So Vincente, we got together about three weeks ago, told yeah. you a little bit about this demo coming here. Uh, what have you done to help us, you know, provide uh, uh, the courts tonight? Well, tons of stuff. You know, we talked to members in the past couple of weeks, literally after we talked. We just let them know we're going to have the devil coming up, and they're super excited, especially to have one of the racquetball pros over here. Um, and they really love the attention over here. Um, coming from West Lane, where there's nine courts, two courts over here, and people would just want more experience over here, and they love it. What have you seen so far with the racquetball here at the club, with the, just the two courts, but, you know, right out in the middle of the open of the whole facility here, have you seen a lot of people playing? A lot of people, the first week, the, the, the people that do play, they play, but then there's watchers. And this, the nice part is watching the watchers actually get inside the courts and play themselves. That's an awesome experience for them. So one thing with uh, Vincente would have asked him to uh, have his staff do at the front desk is maybe make announcements as we're getting ready to start this. It's a 6 o'clock demo. We're at about 4 o'clock right now, so we're a couple hours out. We've already set up. Vincente, what have you basically told your staff here on how to promote the, uh, the demo event tonight? Um, starting on Monday, we just let them know on the day. We had tons of flowers that going out. We post them along the whole building, especially in front of the racquetball court. And starting about right now in the next five minutes, we're going to have them let them know we're going to start the racquetball coming up at 6 p.m. And again, it gives everybody a heads up. So if they are working out, they can stop after the workout and kind of literally watch the demo going on. Yeah, absolutely. We're back here at the front desk of InShape Sport March Lane. This is where we're having the demo tonight with Vero starring in it. This is Noemi. She's the front desk manager. Noemi had a little role in this setting up this demo. I came over here a couple days ago, made sure I had the courts reserved. Noemi, we got both courts reserved tonight. Let's go ahead and check this, okay? Sounds good. All right, yep, we got it, Ellis, right there, as you can see. So we got it reserved. Okay. It's very important. Don't take that one for granted. If you come down here and all the courts are reserved, you're not going to have an effective demo. You're going to have to make some uh, club members a little bit disappointed about that. So take that very seriously. It's always good to come down here and talk to Noemi too. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that video clip. Now, number two, register your event on Team Ectolon's site. This will notify your team leader of the event and sets you up to receive activity points and to request a demo kit. Three, coordinating your demo event with the retailer is very important to the event. If the club does not have a retail location, which most don't anymore, it's very important for you to get with your retailer and set up some type of special promo that will work well during your demo event. Make sure to get posters, flyers, and banners up early. Social media, newsletters, email blasts, front desk announcements are all great things to use to promote your event. Contact local players in the area to make sure they are aware of the event and ask them for assistance, support, and to help spread the word, especially Team Ectolon players. Your team leader may be able to send out a news flash announcing the event as well. Coordinate with your team leader to receive the Ectolon demo bag, and once you receive it, check the contents to make sure you have everything you need.
Make sure you're prepared to achieve the key objectives of the demo event, including number one, set up your display in the most professional manner possible. Number two, try to display banners and posters and make sure you have brochures such as the Play With Fire booklet, there it is, and the catalog. Yeah. Drive sales to your designated retailer for the event. Make sure you have pre-printed flyers available to the distribute to the players that are there at the demo. Make sure you get as many players in attendance as possible. Make sure they sign the sign-up sheet and fill out the survey forms. Extra pins, any sort of materials to hang signs, banners, targets, etc. Prepare to make your event informative and fun. Adding fun activities to your event will increase attendance and make it much easier for the retailer at your demo event. To host a successful demo event, you need to engage the players in attendance, encouraging them to pick up the brackets at the event and to hit with them there on site. Here are some good ideas that have worked for me in the past. I just want to welcome you all to the Nectalon demo. We're at our new facility here, obviously, at March Lane. Nice to have two courts at this facility. It gives us 15 courts within about two, three miles of each other. We're pretty lucky here in Stockton to have that. So we got an Ectalon demo. Introduce Veronica Sotomayor. Everybody give her a round of applause. Veronica's from Cuenca, Ecuador originally. Comes in here to Stockton every now and then to do some training with all the guys here. And uh, she took second in our recent Women's Pro Stop, the uh, Stockton pro -Am that we just had. So Vero's here. She said, John, I want to challenge everyone in Stockton. And so we said, let's put that together. So it's great to have all the racketeers here from the Quail Lakes Club. Appreciate you guys coming out. We've already had three or four games going on. Games are to seven now. These are the two these are the two new rackets that Ecolons came out with and we're really happy to see you guys trying them out tonight. This is the uh, ESP Toron, RG Toron. Barrow's here to play games to nine against anybody who's here. It's nice to see the rackets here. These rackets, if you win a game, you get one of these rackets for free. She's not trying to lose any rackets today, so good luck everybody. Two serves, two serves. Barrow gets a serve first since you're on the line for a racket. Greg Walters up first. Here we go. Ectalon demo. Veronica Sotomayor on the court. She's looking to give out the donuts. We're going to do a little accuracy contest here. We've got a couple of prizes up on the wall. Two on the forehand side, one on the backhand side. And that's because most of the players will choose to try their forehand side first, being the strong side compared to the backhand side. But we want that to change with time as you work on that backhand more and more. So, pretty basic. We're going to do it with the most basic drill and racquetball, which is a common hit. They've got two of the new Ectalon rackets here to choose from on which ones to try out. You're gonna, if you want to get us one close to the side ball, obviously you're going to get a little closer to drop them in. They get about five opportunities each. They can choose whichever target they want. So we'll the second one, I'd suggest scooting to the middle a little bit more, trying to give it that straight line. And obviously there's the backhand side. Can they go for a reverse pin over here with the right hand with the left corner? Sure, why not? We're not a stickler for the rules here at the Echelon Demos. Okay, we're on our hard hit contest here with our remaining players here at our demo. We're going to do it. Okay, let's talk about the product now, beginning with the head shapes of the rackets. First, we have the modified teardrop. This creates a wider sweet spot through the shoulders of the racket, giving that power that you need at the top of the strings. Now, how about the quadriform? Very popular model over the years. Generally more maneuverable with slightly longer main strings, allowing you to get power and control. Along with the head shape, the materials are an important factor in our rackets. We have the Graphite Extreme, Ectalon's lightest weight, stiffest, 100% graphite material offered on all high performance frames. Our graphite composite is a mixture of graphite and fiberglass, not as light or stiff as the Graphite Extreme and found more in the mid-range frames. The fused combination of aluminum and graphite material for price point frames 
with improved performance and feel versus lower end aluminum rackets. And then there's the 6061 Aerolite Aluminum. It's stiff and strong frame offered at an entry level price for beginning racquetball players. Okay, let's talk about O3 technology now, including the O3 Speedport and X03. No restrictions of string movement allow string bed to deflect and catapult the ball off on impact. No grommets to take the energy and liveness away from the string. And the O ports in the frame makes the frame more aerodynamic, promoting a faster swing speeds, more maneuverability, and power. Now, another important component of selecting a racket is the string pattern. First, we have the power fan, which is a patented technology offered on our low-end price point frames, allowing string to share a hole with a double barrel grommet. Next up, we have the power ring. This patented technology is designed to maximize main string length and promote a very open pattern in low to mid-end price point. With the power ring 8, every main string wraps around its own ring in the throat for longer lengths, ease of stringing, and the denser pattern provides more control and vibration dampening. The double power ring has string length that is maximized and the pattern is as open as possible for maximum power. Okay, now we're going to transition to the glove. And first up, we're going to start with the Max Tac glove, which is my personal favorite. It's a staple of the industry for decades. The special 3M tackified process allows for the textured palm for even more traction. Now we're moving on to the Ectalon eyewear, the speed goggles, everybody's favorite, definitely my favorite. They're super comfortable to put on. They also have this vented lens here, which doesn't allow any fogging to take place. On top of that, we have three different lens colors. I'm wearing the clear. Here's the smoked, perfect for outdoor play to get some of that sun out of your eyes. And also we have the yellow lens, which can be used both in indoor and outdoor game. These glasses are the best in the industry. Now let's talk about Ectalon racket balls. First we have the Premium Select Ball. This is Ectalon's number one selling ball of all time. It has a very popular color and speed, which is right in between the Fireball and the Classic, and it has a very lightweight, crisp feel. Next comes the Classic Ball. This is the current most popular ball with a soft, lightweight feel. Preferred by most accomplished players because it allows the ball to stay lower on the bounce for more control during the rallies. This ball is very easy to see off the white walls of a racquetball court. And now the Fireball, the fastest ball in the sport. This is the official ball of World Outdoor Racquetball and the Ladies Professional Racquetball Tour. The ball is faster than any other ball in the sport, has a very lively bounce which promotes very long rallies and is very easy to see off the white walls. Thanks to all the Team Ectalon players for watching this video on how to do an Ectalon demo. Hopefully it's helped you out and you're able to go out there and do an effective Ectalon demo on your own. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to get in touch with your Ectalon team leader in your region.